You may think that I know too much, but now it's never too much. Because when push comes to shove, girl, just trust I won't get sick of us. Do my something. Good morning, vlog, and welcome back to my channel. It is November 11th, and I'm starting this week's vlog. And I'm vlogging specifically to hold myself accountable because remember when I said I wasn't going to restock my Tubi pads and Tubi clips? Well, I did. And I made a bunch the past like weekend, past couple days. And now I'm forcing myself to take a break for real this time. So I'm vlogging this to hold myself accountable to make sure I actually take a break and kind of just take time for myself. So today is actually restock day, but I got everything done beforehand. So I don't have anything to do today, which is exciting. Tomorrow we'll be packing, but today don't have anything to do. So what do I do when I want to take time for myself and treat myself? I go out. Where do I go out? I go to Target and craft stores. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby first because I haven't been there in a while. I'm not planning on buying any fabric, but I just like looking at it. It's just so fun. And then after that, I'm going to go to Target. Um, I don't have anything else planned for the day so far. Maybe baking some gingerbread cookies because I've been wanting to bake that for so long. But I've just been sewing like a mad woman. So I haven't had time. But it's like 9.15 and we're going to go out and we're going to have some fun today. Let me show you the to be pad of the day. So we have the little presents with the port cover and a TV clip. I love it. Oh, listen, honey, if I told you about the way that I felt, yeah. I wouldn't waste a minute if I had you all to myself. We'd be walking in the moonlight, staying up to sunrise. Baby, you can let your walls come down. We'd be dancing in the corner. I finished at Hobby Lobby and I bought fabric. Are we surprised? No. I took clips of me picking out the fabric, but I actually don't think I'm going to include them because I kind of want to keep it a surprise. I want to get better at keeping surprises. I'm trying to be more open about just having a stock of fabric for my tubi pads and tubi clips. I sometimes feel bad for buying like a lot of fabric, but I can now go through fabric so quickly and I think it's better to have fabric on stock so that way just if I'm feeling like sewing one day then I can just go and grab a fabric and sew up a pattern of tubi pads instead of having to go to the store pick out a fabric come home and then do it just to have like a nice stock so I can go through and like work on them as I feel but now we're off to Target I don't know if anyone else okay I'm sure you all feel this but whenever you go to stores like they just have different vibes that's the best way I can explain it but Hobby Lobby just doesn't do it for me the vibes weren't there Target mm, beautiful vibes I love Target vibes and that's where I'm off to now been on the shoulder, you can come and have it all with me if you want it baby you got it bad like I got it bad for you If you got it bad like I got it bad for you Let me tell you about the way that I've been thinking about us Yeah You wanted honesty but couldn't find someone you could trust So let me be good I'm back um, I'm gonna show you a few things that I got now and then make my coffee and just chill for a little bit And then I'm gonna do a try on all the clothes that I got from Target. I Got all this stuff. Oops. I was kind of expecting that and I just kept repeating in my head over and over again. I'm like You worked a lot on your business the past couple weeks. You deserve this. It's okay So that's what I think myself. but let me show you the food that I got. So I got peanut butter checks I don't think I've ever had this flavor. So we're trying this and then I've never had this flavor of rice cakes either and I'm almost out of my tomato and basil and I've had that one so many times in a row so I wanted to try something different. I've been wanting whipped cream for my coffee so I got this and then I got this. I didn't even know that Starbucks had the non-dairy creamer so I thought I would try this but I still have to use up the one that I have already. I've been craving some soup and they didn't have any of like the butternut squash or the green soup so I just got tomato basil. The best brand of vegan ice cream is favorite day which is the target brand 
my all-time favorite is the vanilla cake and cookie dough and then for the second one this time i got strawberry and fudge i think there's a caramel brownie that's also really good and these are all gluten-free as well so that's fun so let me go put these away and then i'll show you some other things you know what i'm actually gonna have my coffee and eat first before i show you the other things because it's all packed in there and then i'm also gonna film a haul for tiktok so i'll just show you everything all at once i can't remember if i told you or not but i got a plant from hobby lobby to replace this one just in case i can't keep it alive because this one is it's on its last straw i feel like i keep watering it but i don't think i don't know if this one's gonna survive <laughs> i'm gonna keep her holding on as long as i can <laughs> i kind of suspected that though that one i think is fine i honestly don't know but real plants aren't my thing right now and that's fine i just wanted to give it a try but we're gonna go through and i'm gonna show you everything that i got from target wow look at this angle okay anyways let me show you the first thing that i got and i knew as soon as i saw this that it was gonna be cute and then i'd want it and the only thing that would make me mad is the price but it was such a cute item that i just had to do it and it's this thing and it's like a little short sleeve cardigan thing and i know you're like okay but what's the purpose of that here's the thing i think outfits look really cute when you layer them or there's like a lot of layering elements involved but in florida that's hard even in the winter because it gets hot all the time obviously but this is a way for me to look layered and cozy whilst not sweating my tush off so yeah it was a little bit more than i'd like to pay it was 28 dollars for this thing but it's just so cute it's so freaking cute and then i just got another plain white long sleeve you can never have enough and i spilled oil on my other one a couple days ago and i don't know if it's gonna come off so i got another one then i got these pants and uh you can never have enough fun pants that's the thing and i like how these ones are super stretchy they're not tight so comfortable don't feel like jeans and that's everything that i look for in pants and then i uh, look at what came back in stock in my target this little matching set i got it in the red color i almost got it in the white but the white was like a bit see-through and for some reason a little bit bigger i don't know why like these ones they just fit like the shorts just fit but the ones in the same size in white didn't fit but this works and it's so comfy i kid you not i wear the pink one twice a week every single week i i love it i love it okay and then i got this pink sweater from there which I kind of guessed that I was going to get before I even went there because I saw this last time I was at Target and I loved it. And then I got this sweatshirt and it's this giant zip up hoodie, sweatshirt, whatever you call it. And this was in the kids section. So it was only, I think like 17, which is so nice and so cozy. Okay. And then I have to show you this again because it's so cute. I love it. It's my favorite okay then i got these three candles so i got warm gingerbread sugared cranberries and holiday oh you can't even see it. it's so bright holiday yeah i don't know how to say that word and then i got two mugs oh my gosh it's so bright haha <laughs> this mug is very fitting it says merry and bright so freaking cute and this one that says snow much fun and do i have a lot of mugs yes but we are actually drinking tea a lot lately and are going through mugs a lot so it's necessary right lux <laughs> it's necessary yeah <gasps> good kitty oh she always sticks her butt up when we pet her it's so funny oh do you like the sun do you like the sun oh you're so cute oh yes you are <laughs> oh yeah and then i got this little tree too and for the last target items i got two cookie cutters i got a gingerbread man for gingerbread cookies and a kitty one because why not have gingerbread kitties and then i got a measuring cup because i don't have one this big and i thought this would be very useful now i'm just gonna sit and chill and edit the tiktok that i made and then i'm probably gonna catch up on responding to messages because i'm really behind and i feel bad that i can't get back to everybody in like a timely manner or if just at all but i do my best so i'm gonna spend some time catching up on all of that and then later i'll make the cookies i just took a shower my hair is a bit crazy it's almost lunch time i really am not expecting that many orders this time because i'm not restocking as much and i feel like people already got a lot of what they wanted so i'm really not expecting that much but yeah i just thought i'd film anyways i've just been doing a whole lot of nothing and then i decided to try to learn a tiktok dance and now i have a headache and i'm nauseous but that's my own fault so yeah i'm gonna publish 
this and then I didn't get to make the gingerbread cookies because I was really tired and then when I went to go like start making them I realized things had to be room temperature so I put those out and then I'm going to um make those after this probably if they're room temperature it's 59 so it's probably almost six o'clock because it's been 59 for a while so we're gonna hit publish and hopefully it loads in time okay Perfect, it's exactly six o'clock now. Let me go start posting on, you know the drill. You know the drill. Okay, everything is posted. And now we're gonna print the recipe for the gingerbread cookies. And I do have to go clean up the kitchen a bit. Oh, I have a headache. So I got the, the recipe printed out and I'm grabbing this candle, it's a gingerbread candle obviously i am so excited because a lot of you seem to be liking the generic tubi pads as well not just the christmas ones i'm so excited because i have such cute patterns for normal tubi pads that i just wanted to start making i am so freaking excited let's go clean up the kitchen because it's a mess and then we'll get to making some cookies i should take tylenol before my headache gets worse that's what i should do i should be responsible responsible would have not been learning that tiktok dance but we're past that gives you everything you want and more i've been sitting on the sideline waiting till the time's right for something about this moment feel so pure so i gotta know you got it bad like I got it bad for you If you got it bad like I got it bad for you If you got it bad like I got it bad for you If you got it bad like I got it bad for you So give me your mom and show me the baby you sound for I got them baked now. We have some gingerbread cats, gingerbread man, and some random shapes. That's not all of the cookie dough, but I was just too lazy to cut everything out after it did not go well the first time. So we'll just worry about the other stuff tomorrow. I did actually get more orders than I was expecting. A lot of stuff is not selling out, which is good because then I'm glad because then people can get to it whenever they can. And I kind of want to have like, if possible, a running stock of stuff on my Etsy so that way if people aren't there you know for a lunch or they can't buy tubes yet they can't buy it. they can't buy it yet or they get a tube later I just want them to be able to go buy it when they have the opportunity to and not necessarily only on the one day so I'm glad the stuff is not selling out and I'll have stuff just like stock in my shop um but I do have a lot of I have 31 orders right now at like 7:45. um but I know a lot of those people like ordered multiple times but that was definitely still more than I was expecting so I am super thankful for that so thank you to everyone that has ordered oh my gosh we're almost at a thousand sales I'm at 932 that is literally insane I can't believe I made that much what? okay so I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna try eating some normal food I think some soup not some of my tomato soup and then I'll try a cookie later I just realized this is expired so is this one so no frosting that's okay. Maybe a little bit sad. But other than that, let's try it. I mean, it's a cookie. I feel like it would taste better with frosting. The spices in here aren't really that strong. Like, it doesn't taste that much like gingerbread. Oh well, still good though. You know, the brain is so funny because even though I'm sitting here writing out all these orders, my brain is still trying to convince me that these people are lying, they don't actually like my stuff, and that my stuff sucks, and 
like there's so much other ones better than me i don't know like why my brain is thinking this as i'm literally like writing all this out i'm so stupid anyways but also as i'm writing this out i'm just like holy crap like there's i think that's what it is like for some reason like my brain is just making me feel guilty for like having this many orders but i just feel like guilty for some reason i don't know it's so weird i'm just like but i'm also like super thankful but i also feel like i don't deserve it for some reason I don't know, I'm just still in awe that like, you know, that this is something that I did. Maybe I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. Good morning, it's Friday. And it's about 11.30 and I've just been packing orders all morning. I did not film because in the last video you just watched me pack orders. But I thought I'd bring you along as I pack my last two orders. Yes, last two. I'm almost done. Last night, as you saw, I put together everyone's orders. Like just the items and nothing else. Like none of the packaging, shipping labels, anything else. So I just did that last night and that helped tremendously with today and making things go so much faster. So... That was nice and i split it into two so it didn't seem like as much work whereas like last week i packed like the whole day straight and it was definitely a lot but i think splitting it into two like that is something that i'm gonna do in the future but this whole bag filled with orders i actually got like i said way more than i was expecting and i'm like so so thankful for everyone but yeah so i'm gonna pack the last two and then there's another one that still says it's processing i've never had this happen before so i don't know what that means but I can't pack that one until it goes through, but we'll just do what we can and pack the last two. That's something I don't regret. Every night I close my eyes and see only lavender dreams, baby. What can I do when I'm in? later and i've been in this chair for a long time because i've just been exhausted and that's okay because i need to rest i know i need to so that is what i've been doing um i dropped off the orders obviously and i just did a few random things but we're here i don't know if i've ever talked about it on here but you know what actually i don't think i want to talk about it but you're not gonna see okay Never mind. I was going to tell you something, but then I feel like I don't want to tell you before I get more information because I always like don't want to say anything and then it turns out to be nothing and then I made a big deal about it when it's not. But in a short summation, I've just been having pain in certain places. That sounds very like, I don't even know, but it's not whatever. I've just been having some pain, but I didn't realize it was pain for the longest time. Like I didn't, I thought it was like a sensation that was normal because I had it constantly, but then I realized it's not and it's actually like pain that I've just been working through and it's been getting worse. And like right now it's actually like really bad. I haven't had to take medicine for it yet, but like now like I might actually have to because pain's pretty bad, but I don't know, that's been interesting. But like I said, I'm not gonna get into it because it might be nothing and then it's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. I probably, it's probably just from like being overworked that's probably what it is so i don't know what i'm telling you this but update is i've just been resting which is why i wanted to film this vlog is to hold myself accountable and to make myself rest hi it's saturday at like 8 in the morning no it's not 8 i lied it's 8 30 and so far this morning i just packed five more orders and i'm gonna bring them along just in case we stop by a post office when we're out but we're gonna go do something that i've been wanting to do for a long time and that is go find some local fabric stores. I've been wanting to visit local fabric stores to see their fabric selection so I can get like more, I guess, unique patterns and support more local businesses if possible, but ours are further away. Um, so it's not just like a quick trip. So I found three of them that are somewhat close, but we're gonna go out and explore them today and see what those are like. And I'm excited. So let's go. Well, one of them is closed, uh, but we got some at this place and that place is really nice. I will definitely be going back there, which is so exciting. I'm not going to show you though, because I'm keeping it a surprise, but we're going to go to the second one now since the other one is closed. 
and I did not expect that. Door number two, let's go see what they have. also a success it was oh i wish i could just show you them all but you'll have to wait i'll be patient these ones are so soft now we're gonna go to joanne's because i want to get some more i need to get some more of the backing i was hoping to find it at these shops but they don't have it unfortunately dreams baby what can i do when a million things are running through million things i can't undo i just sleep walk i just sleep talk that's all i got what can i say with a million things i can't erase million people i can't save i just sleep walk i just sleep talk don't wanna wake up And I'm just coming on to end the vlog because I just have a lot of just random tasks to do for the day today to kind of just get ready for the week. But I just had my doctor's appointment, as you saw, and that was just for primary care. I actually didn't have a primary care. Um, well, like I technically did, but I just haven't seen one in so long and I wanted to get one in the same system as my GI and everything else just to make it easier. So I decided to establish care with a primary care and then just talk about the symptoms I was mentioning the other day. And she was so nice. It was amazing. And she got me some more referrals. I didn't even, I was planning on asking, but I didn't even have to ask. She was just like, oh yeah, I see this. I feel like this referral would be helpful. I was shocked, but she's gonna get me those referrals. And we're gonna do a couple labs just to see if there's anything. Like I said, I don't know if there is, there's probably not, but she was so nice and I'm so thankful now just to have a primary care on my little team. And by team, I mean me and my GI. <laughs> um, but it's just nice to have another doctor who understands and listens. And if I need to ask a question that's non-GI related, I now have someone I can ask that, which is nice because before all I had was my GI doctor. Okay, sorry, that's really loud. I'm boiling or I'm heating up some water for my coffee. Did I ever say that I got a French press? I got a French, I got a, I got a French press and I love it. I got it from Amazon, but I just have my water heating up. So I'll finish talking after that's done. There's still a little bit of noise, but it's pretty much calmed down now. But anyways, after the doctor's appointment, I then just went grocery shopping for the week and now I'm here and I just, like I said, have a bunch of just random little tasks that I have to do. But yesterday, I did not do much at all because I was so exhausted. So I didn't vlog anything yesterday, but something exciting that I did do was I am starting to experiment with different backings for my tubi pads. So I bought various backings and I'm just testing it. And I have a few more things I wanna test before I do my next batch because I just wanna to try to make it the best that I can possibly make it and improve it as like I learn and go on. So I'll keep you updated on that, but I'm excited because this one is so fuzzy. It's so fuzzy, I love it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a like and a comment and to subscribe for new videos every Saturday. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.